Hi everyone. This is Naveen. Now you are watching Microtech Load Balancing. Okay, the first we'll discuss we'll come uh, with the the basic configuration of Microtech. The same uh, configuration will go with the load balancing. This is only the video that uh, I'm showing you about the uh, configuration of Microtech to start with load balancing. Okay, let's start. So, uh, so we are using Microtech RB750 GR3. This model having five uh, Ethernet ports. So we can use WAN1, WAN2, LAN1, LAN2, and LAN3. Or else we can configure as three WANs and two LANs. So here we are configuring as WAN1 and WAN2 and LAN1. Okay. So uh, let's see the ISP1 and ISP2 configurations first. So ISP1 uh, is given the IP address of 192.168.22.100. Uh, ISP2 is given 192.168.33.100. Okay. So the gateway and the subnet uh, 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 given by the ISP1 and ISP2. So the ISP1 cable is connected to Ethernet 1. And ISP2 cable is connected to Ethernet 2. Okay, now we are creating Ether 3 and 4 as a bridge 1 network. So Ether 3 and Ether 4 will be having the same IP series. Okay, so both uh, IPs are bonded each together on each two ports. So this is the configuration that we would like to create for the LAN IP pool. Okay, and imagine uh, the ISP uh, DNS servers are 9.9.9. .9 .9. Nine and uh, DNS for ISP2 ISP2 is 76 76 19 19. Okay, so uh, let's start from here. So uh, this is the uh, configuration that I already did for uh, ISP1 and ISP2 and LAN. So let's reset the uh, uh, router and reconfigure. Okay, reset the router. So the router came with the uh, default configuration. So let's remove the default configuration after reset. Remove configuration. It will reboot the Microtech uh, router. Uh, uh, it's rebooting. Okay. So first, uh, change the password uh, to one, two, three, four. So for simply, I'm creating one, two, three, four. Okay. So uh, let's go to uh, interface. Ether 1, Ether 2, uh, I already connected the cable. Okay. So for Ether 1, IP, DHCP server, uh, DHCP client, select Ether 1. Okay. And select 
uh, ether one got the IP address and select ether two. So we got the IP address for ether two. Okay, let's create a bridge ports. Create a bridge plus bridge one. Okay, and attach uh, port number three and four for bridge. So three at uh, three and four plus at the three for bridge one plus at the four for bridge one. Is uh, the it is already connected for Ethernet three. Okay, let's log in again. One, two, three, four. Breeze plus go to breeze. Four set the three is configured. Now let's configure ether four. Ether four. Ethernet four. Okay. So uh, now let's create the uh, network for breeze. So uh, breeze is ten dot ten dot five dot x. Ten dot ten dot five dot x. IP address plus and I add the IP address ten dot ten dot five dot one by twenty four slash twenty four and select interface as bridge one. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, let's create. Uh, let let us create a DHCP server. IP DHCP server. DHCP setup. Select the LAN port. It means bridge one. Next, IP address we already received because we added the IP address in the uh, address list. Next, uh, the gateway of the DHCP network five dot one. Next, the range of IP addresses, DHCP range. Next, uh, so here we would like to change the DNS servers. So we would like to keep uh, public DNS servers and we would like to avoid DNS servers which is given by the ISP. So DNS servers remove the old uh, DNS IPs next and let's keep the release time is to uh, 20 minutes sorry 20 hours 30 minutes <clears throat> so let's test what is the ip address that i have received for this computer and disable Enable. The IP address that I received is ten dot ten dot five dot two fifty four. Subnet default gateway ten dot ten dot five dot one and DACP ten dot ten dot five dot one. DNS and uh, primary and secondary uh, is issued as per we given on the DHCP server. Okay, here I received the IP address. Okay. Interface. So uh, still I am connected it to Wi Fi network. So there is no internet access for the LAN cable. Okay, so go to firewall, IP, firewall. NAT, click on plus, go to general source NAT, and go to action, select masquerade, then click OK. Now the internet traffic is going through the LAN, the Wi Fi is disconnected. Okay. <coughs> Ok, 
ओके लेट्स टेस्ट द इंटरनेट स्पीड सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट आई नीड टू सेलेक्ट आईपी डीएचसीपी क्लाइंट सो इट गॉट द डिफॉल्ट रूट्स ओके लेट्स द फर्स्ट अदर वन इज डिफॉल्ट रूट वन एंड अदर टू इज डिफॉल्ट रूट इज टू ओके the primary root is 1 distance 1 is isp1 okay interface isp1 on ether1 okay and ether2 isp2 So ether one ISP one and ether two ISP two, okay. <coughs> IP DHCP client. So ether one uh, ISP one is one ninety two one sixty eight twenty two dot hundred, and uh, ISP two one ninety two one sixty eight thirty three dot hundred, as per the uh, uh, IS ISP configurations. okay so let's uh, see like uh, for me the isp1 given me uh, 4 mbps upload and download and isp2 is given me 4 mbps for upload and download 4 mbps Let's test the speed. Okay. See the ISP one is going to four Mbps. The ISP two is down because we had not configured the load balancing. Okay, we had not configured the failover. So we are receiving uh, ISP one as download as three four Mbps and upload as four Mbps. Okay, so uh, let's trace route Windows R CMD. There is here to trace it. Uh, one dot one dot one dot one public DNS. So to my local uh, router gateway, the Microtech router gateway. Okay, and next the ISP one one ninety two one sixty eight twenty two dot one. This is the ISP one. <coughs> so we are going traffic. It is going the traffic from ISP one. Okay. So let's disable ISP one and let's test on ISP two. Okay. ISP one is disabled. Or now uh, we'll test the speed test. Uh, we'll test the uh, trace route then speed test.
the default gateway of the uh, Microtech router on the uh, ISP2 gateway, the IP addresses, okay, the ISP2 gateway is 33.100. So the 33.1 is a gateway for uh, this ISP2. So the internet traffic is routing through ISP2. Okay, let's uh, enable the ISP1 and let's check. So the primary is ISP1, which is a default route. Okay, let's test again. <clears throat> now uh, it is it should go to root to isp1 yes it is routing to isp1 the, uh, the isp1 okay so let's disable the isp1 uh, and let's make a speed test let's see the traffic so uh, we're getting almost uh, 4 Mbps. Four Mbps. It is trying to get more than 4 Mbps, but it, uh, we are not able to get the uh, more than 4 Mbps because the isp1 is uh, assigned to us its 4 mbps okay so uh, so the isp1 and the isp2 having 4 mbps and 4 mbps uh, uh, broadband connection so uh, in the next video we'll uh, add 4 mbps and 4 mbps to 8 mbps so uh, let's start for the load balancing on the next video okay The same configuration that we, we use for load balancing ECMP or PCC on the next videos. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching Naveen, Naveen from 365 admin support and services.